Interstellar Little Journey, A Tour of the Solar System Haney lay in bed, staring at the model of the solar system on her ceiling. Suddenly, a shiny rocket appeared outside her window, and a robot invited her for an expedition across the solar system. The first stop was Mercury, closest to the Sun, with a surface full of impact craters and virtually no atmosphere. Amy noted the extreme temperature differences between day and night on Mercury. Next, they arrived at Venus. Venus has an incredibly high surface pressure, surrounded by thick clouds that trap heat through a strong greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. The third stop was Earth. It is the only planet with liquid water and life, its blue-green oceans and continents make it uniquely charming. Then came Mars, with its red deserts and the tallest volcano, Olympus Mons, as well as dry riverbeds and lakes that indicate Mars once had signs of water. After crossing the asteroid belt, they reached Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, characterized by the great red spot and a multitude of moons. Next was Saturn. With its spectacular rings made of ice and rock, and its moon Titan, which features lakes and rivers of liquid methane. Uranus, an ice giant in the solar system, is unique for its extreme axial tilt, which is almost perpendicular to its orbital plane, and its atmosphere rich in methane, giving it a blue-green hue. Finally, they arrived at Neptune, with intense storms in its blue atmosphere, known as the Great Dark Spot, and its moon Triton, which has active ice volcanoes. Before the adventure ended, they made their way to the sun, a massive ball of hot gases, primarily hydrogen and helium. Its powerful gravity holds the entire solar system in orbit. Amy watched in amazement at the sun's flares and sunspots. Returning to her room, Amy was filled with gratitude, having gained a deeper understanding of the mysteries of the solar system. <laughs>